Our next guest has spent the last 14 years living out of a suitcase, taking viewers around the world on the Travel Channel. So who better to help us plan our next vacation than Samantha Brown? She is joining us right now with some tips to get the most out of your trip for the least amount of money. Samantha, <laughs> welcome to Talk of the Town in Nashville. And you say you like getting to Nashville when you can. I love going to Nashville. I, I had the best time there. You know, you hit the honky tonks, drink some beer, get some good barbecue. It's it's a great city. Well, cool. Well, next time you're in town, come on by and see us in the studio, okay? I'd love that. Thank you. Hey, I want to ask you a couple of questions here. What are the uh, most important things to keep in mind when people are trying to plan a vacation? So uh, what you want to do is, of course, save the most money, right? So there are two things that smart travelers don't do to save the most money, and that is they don't procrastinate and they don't travel when everyone else is. You do those two things, and you are saving easily 40 to 50% off your travel. So, for instance, booking flights. You actually want to start looking at those fares three to four months before you depart and book no later than six weeks. That really is your sweet spot. If you book after six weeks, you are adding 30, 40, even 50% if you're spending money for four people to travel a whole family that could be a a thousand dollars more on your travel budget that we just don't have so don't procrastinate wow all right so there's a tip there on transportation what about other activities how can we save money on other activities involved with our vacation so I, lo I love to do activities. It's the way you experience a u the uniqueness about a destination that you can't do back at home. But they do kind of, you know, rack up the budget. So what I love to do is I follow companies and they that do the activities online. I follow them on Twitter. I use uh, Facebook. So I use social media to get the deals because what happens is when I follow those companies, whether it's your airline, the hotel you're staying at, even the destination you're going to, they're going to now send me deals directly. They, they send them to me up to the minute so that I connect immediately on whatever promotions they're selling before they sell out or the promotion goes away. So that social media absolutely keeps me informed. Now, another thing that all travelers have uh, is a credit card that rewards them with points that then they use for travel. There are so many out there. I've partnered with Bank of America because uh, no annual fee and at no cost to me, I still earn a point and a half for every dollar on all charges. And I just use that as a statement credit to pay down on those travel expenses, the ones that we hate to pay for, like baggage fees mm -hmm. to the ones we love to do like activities. So as a smart traveler, I'm using social media and going online to find those special uh, fares and deals, but then I'm also creating my own savings at the same time. All right, there are several big destinations that everybody likes to go to. However, there are some yeah. favorite destinations that people may not necessarily know about. What are a couple of that are at the top of your list? Well, one, I love off-season destinations the week after that high season is over. So, for instance, I'm in Manchester, Vermont. Last week was the end of their peak fall foliage season. That's the peak of their pricing. And as everyone was leaving, I was coming in. So I'm experiencing uh, savings across the board and also no, no crowds and great weather. There's gorgeous foliage still going on, so I'm still taking advantage of that environment. After the summer, after Labor Day, I like to hit the beach resorts Same for the same reason. I'm going to get better pricing uh, in the uh, in the winter everyone's either going to beach destinations because we had such a miserable winter last <laughs> year or mountain resorts uh, because of the skiing so head to the national parks oh they're so beautiful and they're beautiful year-round and the hotels are going to be 50 percent off what they would be in the summer so it's good to just think in opposite if all the crowds are going in one direction what's something that doesn't get a lot of attention because not only are you going to get better savings again no crowds and you're just going to be able to make those memories at a, at a price you can afford. All right, some great information there. Thank you again for being with us today. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you too. For more information on travel deals, we will put a link on our website at newschannel5.com.